eighteen hundred hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio Pakistan the news read by Daman Zaman the headlines the Prime Minister has reiterated that Pakistan will not become part of any conflict in future rather will be a partner in peace Pakistan and the United Kingdom have agreed to further strengthen bilateral cooperation to ensure peace and security in the Middle East. The Special Assistant on Information has assured to extend full cooperation to the provincial government for the rehabilitation of those recently affected by rains and snowfall in Balochistan. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian police have started using drones to keep a close watch on the movement of the people and anti-India demonstrations in the held territory. China has appointed Li Qian as the new special envoy for Afghanistan. Iran has warned that it could withdraw from the 2015 nuclear deal in dispute with the West. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has once again categorically stated that Pakistan will not become part of any conflict in future, rather will be a partner in peace. Addressing a session on Pakistan country strategy dialogue at the World Economic Congress Center in Davos today, he recalled that both the Afghan Jihad and the war against terrorism after 9-11 cost Pakistan heavily and inflicted a lot of damage to our society. Imran Khan said Pakistan has played its part in trying to avert the conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran. He said we are also actively participating to facilitate the Afghan peace process. He said there is a chance of ceasefire in Afghanistan, which will help us reach the Central Asian countries through the economic corridor. The Prime Minister said Pakistan is hoping to attract investments in different sectors, including agriculture, minerals and information technology highlighting the tourism potential of Pakistan, including its centuries-old civilization. The Prime Minister said our country is one of the most undiscovered countries in the world. He said several world institutions have declared Pakistan as one of the most exciting tourism destinations. He said the tourism doubled in one year as a result of the steps taken by the government. The President International Monetary Fund, Kristalina Georgieva, called on Prime Minister Imran Khan on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2020 at Davos. The advisor on finance, Dr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, special assistant to the Prime Minister, Sayyid Zulfikar Abbas Bukhari, Ambassador at Large on Investments, Ali Jahangir Siddiqui, and the Governor State Bank of Pakistan, Rasa Pakir, were also present. The Chief Executive Officer Global Vaccine Alliance, Gavi, said Berkeley called on Prime Minister Imran Khan on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2020 at Davos. The Prime Minister apprised the CEO of the government's policy reforms for strengthening the healthcare sector in Pakistan. He appreciated the continuous support extended by the Global Vaccine Alliance to Pakistan to protect children against the deadly but preventable diseases. The Prime Minister said Pakistan became the first country in the world to introduce typhoid vaccine and its routine immunization schedule. He highlighted the government's efforts to eradicate polio from the country and to achieve the goal of universal immunization coverage. Said Berkeley acknowledged the steps taken by the government and assured Global Vaccine Alliance support and cooperation. Prime Minister Imran Khan says skills development of the youth is among the top priorities of the government. He was talking to the chief executive officer of Siemens, Joe Kayser, who called on him on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum at Davos today. The Prime Minister expressed his desire that Siemens can introduce high technology skills training program for Pakistani engineers under the Hunarmand Jawan program. He also invited Siemens to support Pakistani universities. The Prime Minister also extended an invitation to the Chief Executive Officer of Siemens to visit Pakistan. The Chief Executive Officer of YouTube, Susan Warshiski, called on Prime Minister Imran Khan at Davos today 
and discuss matters pertaining to utilizing digital platforms for image building of Pakistan, promotion of tourism and attracting investments. The President Asian Development Bank, Masatsuga Asakawa, called on Prime Minister Imran Khan on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum annual meeting 2020 at Davos. Later, the advisor on finance, Dr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, while talking to the media, along with the president of the Asian Development Bank, Masatsuga Asakawa, expressed gratitude to the Asian Development Bank over adopting special financing tools to support Pakistan. He said this is an excellent partnership and they have contributed in a significant way in turning around our economy. Speaking on the occasion, the president of the Asian Development Bank said Pakistan and ADB have very cordial relations for years. He said Pakistan has been a very good partner for the Asian Development Bank for more than 50 years. He said we have decided to support Pakistan's reforms agenda as much as possible, including monetary policy, fiscal policy, taxation issues and SAS program. Pakistan and the United Kingdom have agreed to further strengthen bilateral cooperation to ensure peace and security in the Middle East. The consensus was reached during a telephonic conversation today between the Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and his British counterpart Dominique Raab. Shah Mahmood Qureshi apprised of Pakistan's efforts to defuse tensions in the region through active diplomatic engagements with relevant parties in the Middle East. Shah Mahmood Qureshi spoke about grave human rights and humanitarian situation in Indian-occupied Kashmir and urged the United Kingdom to play its role in peaceful resolution of the dispute. The British Foreign Secretary appreciated Pakistan's efforts to support diffusion of tensions. He also highlighted the positive trajectory of Pakistan-United Kingdom relations and expressed the hope that these will continue to strengthen in the years ahead. This is Radio Pakistan. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has emphasized the need to properly channelize the philanthropic efforts for the welfare of the people. He said this while chairing a presentation by the Managing Director Pakistan Battle Mall on Abbas Bappi in Islamabad. Appreciating the tremendous philanthropic work being done in Pakistan, the President underlined the need to bolster the endeavors for the protection and care of orphans and people with disabilities and empowerment of women, especially in the erstwhile Fata. The President also launched Pakistan Battle Mall's mobile app for people with disabilities. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Fridhaw Sashi Kawan, has a show to extend full cooperation to the provincial government for the relief and rehabilitation of those recently affected by rains and snowfall in Balochistan. Talking to the media persons in Quetta today, she said timely rescue efforts of National Disaster Management Authority in cooperation with the provincial government helps saving many precious lives. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian police have started using drones to keep a close watch on the movement of the people and anti-India demonstrations in the territory. A senior police official said over 100 drones were provided to the police force last year in October and November, which were now being used to conduct mapping exercises. The Indian Home Minister, Amit Shah, has announced that anti-minorities law citizenship amendment act will not be scrapped despite protests over it addressing a rally in lucknow he also declared that the construction of a ram temple in ayodhya will begin within three months china has appointed li Qian as the new special envoy for afghanistan Foreign Ministry spokesperson sheng shuang said in a statement in beijing that special envoy li Xuan is a senior diplomat which has, who has served as China's ambassador to Afghanistan, Malaysia, Pakistan and other countries. Iran has warned that it could withdraw from the 2015 nuclear deal in dispute with the West. Iranian President's Chief of Staff Mahmoud Waizi said in a statement that if Iran's nuclear deal is taken to the United Nations, we will withdraw from the deal. 
Saudi Arabia has shown willingness to hold talks with Iran to restore peace and stability in the region. Talking to media in Davos today, the Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan said now it is really up to Iran that whether it is ready for talks. And now cricket in the ICC Under-19 World Cup 2020 against Pakistan at Potchefstroom, chasing a victory target of 295 runs. Zimbabwe were 49 runs for the loss of no wicket in six overs a short while ago. Batting first, Pakistan scored 294 runs for the loss of nine wickets in the allotted 50 overs. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain with snowfall is expected at isolated places in Gilgit, Baltistan, Kashmir and its adjoining hilly areas. Fog is likely to prevail in the plain areas of the Punjab during night hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash radio pakistan news official